What's up guys, this is The Rifleman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of an hour special of my Italian States campaign. So to round off about last time, um, let's have a quick... Because, we've got, because it's an hour special, I will def I will fight this battle, I promise. Um, but let me highlight what the big strategic challenge is. See if you can spot it. See if you can spot it. Ah, this massive penetration of Swedish troops. Um, so I pulled all my forces back to bridges to try and incur uh, the most amount of damage as I can. And I've also it also means that I need to free up some of my armies in North, North Africa to go and help um, combat the Swedes. So as one stepping stone to that, we're going to attack the garrison at Morocco. So without further ado, let us crack on and assault. So we are going to be helped by a militia unit from... Gibraltar, but that's not going to really matter. But yes, the idea is to attack these British possessions so that these armies can be refitted and then span around to attack the Swedes. I may even send this army to go and attack somewhere like Norway in order to provide a, a new threat on a new front. It could be a good idea, I think. Let's put my artillery back here. I'm, it's, I'm unsure where their reinforcing army is going to deploy. So let's just deploy... Oh, deploy up in a strong line. Aha! More infantry. Um, artillery, I mean. I need to do... Come on, there we go. Let's deploy the howitzers. Second light horse. Stay behind, same with the general. Okay, so we can push up and feel pretty content. So let's march these guys up on the right. Start marching these guys up on the left. Bring our hussars in the centre. Colonial light cavalry, if they want to try anything, we can just deploy our formation into squares. Although somewhere there's a provincial line regiment. There it is. It looks like they were going for them. These two men march right up the slot. Now oh, they've gone for my. Uh... Gone for my grenadiers. Well, they did break my square. Let's reform the square. And let's bring my hussars over. Okay, make sure you kill as many as you can, and they're shattered. Good stuff. Obviously all my artillery is focused on trying to hit that... That, um... How it's a unit. Let's run my infantry up and let's go check out this reinforcing militia unit that's at really low strength. Set them to go attack that mortar unit. Let's run you guys up actually to get you in a position to intercept the reinforcing army. Okay, let's push push aggressively. Bearing in mind we are fighting British Redcoats. But they have left their artillery exposed and it looks like our militia is going to do an excellent job in flanking and destroying said mortars. So let's limber up the howitzers. Let's limber up my 
artillery. Maybe let's anchor you a, a bit more against these buildings. So these are marines. Okay, all my artillery, if you're not going to help out, aim at the marines. We are being focus fired from artillery from the supporting units. But our flanking units are going to do a huge amount of damage to British morale. So the 6th is going to pound them with fiber rank. It looks like they're going to charge us. Slash have charged us. You guys just hunker down in squares across the board. There we go. Make sure they definitely go around those spikes. Again, my militia taking out their artillery. <laughs> something like this and let's take our good units push them forward like this the cavalry is charging it again and when they're routed we will push this wing forward the marines understandable my militia routed you guys march out to provide a new threat one of you whoa You guys push up. There we go. Keep killing the 54th until they're dead. There we go. Try and infiltrate the town. Our cavalry routed, but we broke their infantry. Wavering, so let's make sure they avoid the spikes. Push the howitzers up. Let's get my artillery to just engage at long range.
get my general out on the flank to go hit their guns if I can. All my artillery actually try and engage this infantry because it's a bit vulnerable now. pushing charge the British line get these guys to charge in confident but they're severely outnumbered but the grenadiers should help turn the tide in the flank and this fight on the flank is a bit oh you need to fire me old son the British regulars with another charge in the flank. So you guys just form up another line to engage that infantry unit. You men push up. I don't know, I don't, really don't know why they spent their time fighting, running into the building rather than actually fighting. You guys charge in. Form up our line. General's back here, very exposed. Especially because you've only got a bunch of cavalry up there. I suppose right now my infantry's just got to fight in the militia themselves. They're outnumbered. Take some of these men to push the last remaining stronghold. I mean, obviously, some of them come back. charge the 10th regiment of foot with my weakened cavalry because they're already wa wavering there we go they may as well try and hit that building although they're wavering they both are though there you go the 25th are dead
Let's step up the aggressive moves. Charnel House of Death. There we go. Let's get my militia in there as well. Although we'll probably win that. Their morale's already damaged. So now we're just shooting our muskets at their artillery. Well, their general attacked us, eh? You go for him as well. Let's try to see if we can kill the uh, reinforcing general. Once these guys have reloaded. Sound bug is on. Check my militia. Militia, 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 militia. Yeah, they're losing slightly, apparently. Yeah, let's use my artillery to still try to take him out. I don't really care if I lose my militia. Get these marines involved. didn't kill the general. He has managed to escape. Squares. You guys get out of squares and charge in. These guys just gun down the, the uh, artillery. Winning that fight. Swarm the dragoons. And as soon as I've got my heavies in there, then we should rip them down from the saddle. And there go their guns. Oh, we're wavering. start to march people back. I know I'm attacking them with artillery, but still. Let's triple speed it. There they go. Let's end the battle there. There we go. Nice victory indeed. We lost a bunch of men. But... Did they die? I think they... No, they routed. The animation's routing. That's why it took so long. Okie dokie. There we go. So that army's... Dis we've taken Morocco. You're still going after Tripoli. Not this turn, but next turn you will. I've got a Royal Navy there. Which I could engage. But I'm going to keep growing the fleet. I'm intrigued to know what the Swedish do. We're currently in overdrive, recruiting infantry both in London um, and in and in uh, Paris. I've got my navy here blocking the Strait of Gibraltar. I do have this Russian fleet up here, which I do want to attack because I want that third rate, but it's currently not doing anything and we're doing a bit of raiding. So Nino Boscovich. Hero of the army and bloody. So he's got minus one morale because of his losses, but he also gained plus four morale because he's a hero. And we catch a Morocco. They've got Mr. Churchill's army, they've got a sixth rate, ardent. So I'm tempted to deploy a. F just the fourth. Just one fourth rate. Deploy him off the coast of Casablanca just to blockade it to make sure they don't sail anywhere annoying. At the very least, they're very strongly Catholic. I 
I do want to take Cagliari as well to take out any risk of the Swedes doing a pulling a sneaky maneuver here. Although, is there anything in their port? Yeah, like just a whole bunch of troops. But I think we've got them bottled up because they have no ports in the Med, and they'll have to transit past Cadiz to go pick them up. They could recruit one. I can't tell if they are. my rake that was going to do some intelligence work instead is going to try and ah oh, he died <laughs> he's going to try and assassinate some of their generals uh, okay don't bother going for preserved foods waste of time uh, instead go for copper bottoms to improve speed range and reduce upkeep Let's head in turn and see where the Swedish go. Ooh, the British are attacking me. You are more than welcome, sir. So we're going to fight before the gates of Tripoli, and then we're going to thin them down quite significantly there in that uh, in that attack. Because we do have howitzers, we do have quicklime, but I've got to bear in mind the direction of the reinforcing army. They're coming in from my right. That's not bad, actually. Okay, so let's put... Let's group all our guns at the back, for now. Face one against the oncoming troops. Put two units in a kind of a sideways position like this to cover both directions to a degree put the bulk of my guns attacking there i don't like taking positions behind walls because armies just end up units don't do fire by rank behind walls i think okay let's put some troops down here but the bulk of our effort does want to be facing off against the reinforcing army. So we can quite handsomely cover our flank. I mean, unless they come in behind us, which is why all my artillery cavalry is going to sit here and get ready to attack as soon as if they do come from that direction. Just like, just as planned. Nope, you guys stop shooting because you're going to do friendly fire. Howitzers drop. Quick line. If they're going to go for the uh, artillery. A miss has just gutted the general staff. Let's attack their units. You just keep engaging the horse artillery. Here comes their general. So the general general's been shot off his horse. Square in each flanking unit behind. Canister shot. Aim at the colonial light cav, but he might not make it in time. They're just going to clip my cavalry, my artillery. Okay, in which case, then you guys stop firing immediately. Begin round shotting their infantry. You don't have guns to break the squares, good sir. Okay, let's pivot this flank. Oh, 
You ain't no them. You ain't no them. Okay, let's pick not the heavy cavalry. One of my regiments of horse to get around the flank. Tenth coming back, but they've been significantly damaged. The artillery's bouncing in. Okay, let's change targets for our quick climb. Ah, we've been attacked by Colonial Light Cavalry. break that unit so I can go around kill their cavalry and then just send my infantry around where I wanted to send them in the first place. They're lining up in a perfect position for a good quick line. It's a perfect angle really. Pull our cavalry out into the mix. You guys go take the regiment of horse. Go take the cavalry, sorry. Good, they fired. Quick climb inbound. No, oh, they missed. More cavalry charges. Miss, miss. Oh, either side of the 29th. Colonial Light plus another unit. Come back and engage the 31st. You guys hit the Colonial Light infantry. goes limber up. These infantry redeploy rapidly. Quick climbing howitzers look like they're doing some good over here. Let's bring our cavalry back up. Just pivot our guns, don't deploy them into the line, just drop them up here, because they've still got a very good firing arc. There goes quick line and the morale route is... The moraling is... The moraling? The route. The routing is huge. Charge the 20th. Such a... yeah, their morale is broken. So much so, and they are firing round shot. So the shells will arc. We're going to push up. Let's bring our cavalry up to further attack the 20th. Very elite hussar unit. Poor old colonial dragoons. Just in an absolute maelstrom. streaming across the front line. Unlimber our other gun. Push our general up into a new position. Quick 
not sure what these dragoons are doing. Formed column. That means there's lots of them. They're going to have plenty of time to be shot at. chase them down. Actually, no. Go help your uh, other unit. Keep bombarding their artillery with everything we got. The generals. The infantry doesn't matter anymore. Actually, to be honest, much more hold all my artillery fire entirely. Sweep my cavalry in to take them out. Take out, take them out. Take them out. Speed up time. We are going to continue. Let's try to take out the gunners. G close. That wasn't close. That was a nice battle. That was a really good battle, actually. That went really well. We lost 416. They lost 2,000 men. And even though my marines got a bunch of kills. There we go. They've been knocked back. The garrison's been pushed out. So it is tempting to... If I can take Tripoli to then make peace with Britain, my only concern, my main concern... Oh, okay. That's not good. We may declare war on the, uh, on the Ottomans. We're about to be attacked. Oh, they've got a fleet. They've got an army there. You guys run. They're going to hit our other raiding force, which is, if they do, that's fair enough, because we are just raiding. Okay, they're going to land an army off of the coast of Britain. You're marching around towards Paris, but not to attack it. Okay, they've landed an army off of the coast of London. is to be expected but we have just recruited a whole bunch of troops in London so that's going to kind of backfire pirate hordes are growing not overly concerned with them So we've got 28,000 to play with. We've got a rake in Portugal. So the rake march up. Just get in the general area. Diplomacy with Britain. Peace and trade. Oh, damn it. <laughs> For some reason I thought we took Tripoli. <sighs> oh well. Either way, I need that army. Uh, okay. Oh, it's because I'm an idiot. Total, total idiot. Massive new mistake. Oh well. Well, no, actually, you guys stay where you are, because I sense an Ottoman plot, because that's what they do. Um, although it is mightily tempting to preempt their attack and attack them. Preempt their attack and attack them first. Okay, you're also recruiting a bunch of infantry, which is good. Build some grenadiers in London if they give us the time. So who is here? Lots of cavalry, some artillery, mixture of infantry. You get back to Portsmouth. So where's their navy? Pretty damaged. Get 
my ships up here to keep raiding Sweden. You can see they are working their way around. But my main focus is that my... It, my main focus is that I just keep hold of Paris while I bring other forces to bear. So let's get my ship into the ports you guys replenish you guys also pick up a happiness building can you guys leave morocco i will exempt you from tax to make sure it happens and i will pick up my navy here Deploy them aboard ship and send them. Maybe even to London. Because if I can win here, I would like to do some offensive work of my own. They're not in very good shape to support, but, you know, I can put them within range of the city and provide some extra bodies. Or I could just send some in. Let's send my... Okay, maybe this is what I do. I have to combine my armies, combine my units, and more or less consider my London garrison as my main army. And then let's pick... Unfortunately, we are going to lose some of our really good infantry units, but... So you guys can replenish as usual. London is now in a stronger position. To be honest, maybe even strong enough to go on the offensive. So they're raiding around Paris, that's fine. We want is to try and intercept some of these forces. So you guys are now going to go up to Turin. You're going to pick up some more infantry. You're recruiting, which is great. Get some cheap howitzers. We've upgraded our university, done some other good stuff. It's mighty tempting to attack the Ottomans. Just keep building up the fleet. We need to keep these guys in position, ready to respond. Let's do some economic spending to help off, try and offset what we're, the damage we're doing. Okay, they've already got a happiness building. Um, go for a church school. Got a farm. And I think we need to take this navy out for a spin. And go and intercept this large Swedish navy. Let's do this. So the idea won't be isn't to capture their ships, it's to well, it is to capture their ships, but not for the purpose of joining up with joining up with our ships, but to uh, sell them for money. So it's got a second rate, uh, third rate. Arabo's first rate is also going to be a bit further up in the mix. It's a very mixed fleet. Okay, do line astern. Do that. Not in a very good position to withstand their manoeuvring. There we go. So let's speed up time. It looks like they're going to go try towards the back of our line, then forward in. It's got fourth rates, war galleons, but lots of fifths and smaller ships. We've got big slab-sided killers of the deep.
what I'm going to do is I'm probably going to chop the recording here to bring you guys back when battle is joined, because these are very slow battles. So, see you in a second, everyone. Thankfully, they changed course, and now they are sailing straight down the mouth of some of my ships. Which is great. There we go. Let's get my ships also in a position to just keep bombarding. We can do this at distance because we've got better, more firepower than they do. So if they want to do uh, a line battle, then we are in a better position to do it because we've got more guns. It's not an engagement they can count on winning. He's slowly turning right. Go to chain shot because I want them to fire a nice big old bunch of cannon shells into the f masts of Fagal Struts. 33. Thirty-five. There they go. Keep sailing at full speed. Some of these ships are quite badly damaged, like this fifth rate Abraham's pretty knackered. So as we make the inside of the turn, even though we are slower. We're on the inside curve, so we should go a bit faster. I don't know why my orders aren't... my broadside counter's not going up. There it is. Okay, pivot. So now my hole... My whole, my whole uh, formation thing kind of goes out the window when the battle is joined like this. Because I really start taking... Um, taking note of my first ships. Like I start micromanaging the battle more. That's what I think I need to do more often. Sometimes firing at will is fine at distance, like what these guys are doing. Yeah, they fired a broadside into my second ray. It's not good, but... Our broadsides will do a whole lot more damage than theirs. Reload. Fire! No, don't. See, that was frantic third, third rate. Taking a bit of a pummeling. Respect's probably because it's... B is starting to count against us, so let's try and sail this way, cut their line in half. Get in front of Falca, expose our 
support our, our right hand guns into the mix. Hello, Falco. Can you stay what you're doing? Because now that ship's in range. And you guys. Try to get your nose in front. Ah, oh, shame. Fire, so cease fire at will. Damn. Oh, damn. Katie's gonna blow up. Get alongside. A broadside into the war galleon. Come on, sail. Okay, you could fire that broadside there. Hit Abraham. This ship's in a really bad position. So this ship needs to gun it. There we go. I've chopped their fleet in half. So he's going to take a bit of a hammering from some of these ships that are now sailing through the slot. Oh, we're going to get a good... You need to just keep blasting ships with everything you got. If port guns are able to fire... Feel the wind from your sails, fire off one last broadside. Makes sense they're upset. Getting, they're not getting as many fire um, volleys off that will as I would like. And there goes another ship. These two ships that are pretty knackered. And now I've got to do some good work. You're on fire, so make sure you fire. You don't fire, Will. Can't really broadside. You get ready. Oh, you're on fire, so we can't really do anything with you. But you need to fire, or else you're gonna be routed. Uh, 
Abu Kerr, the third rate, is not doing very well. Now it's my Admiral's flagship getting involved. Broad, good broadside into Minerva. Third rate is not doing stellar, a stellar job. Oh, he's gone. Fire your broadside. Need to fire something. Well, he's on fire and he's sinking, so that might actually work in our favour. If I can get you to take out Vladislav. Sounds like an explosion to me. Awesome. You pivot. Because some of these ships are starting to sneak around the rear. So let's disengage some of my ships at the rear to make sure they do engage enemy you guys need to sail on you just stop Get your broadside right round to there you've got no guns on your port side Can fire. Book it. Book it away from that ship. <laughs> so it's off. Two of their ships are on fire. Flagship's routing because they blew up. Oh man, this is going from bad to worse. He's not very happy. This is why I like concentrating on land battles, because boy do I suck at sea. Because there's just a time where you just can't focus on everything. Their ship, their fleet's really quite badly damaged, but damage don't mean nothing. Your port side guns, you've got more port side guns. You fired them all into Gothen Gothenburg, which is okay. Damage. Damage you can take to the bank. There we go. How many guns have you got? Not, not you haven't got many ready to go. This fourth rate's sinking, so the sooner you can pivot and hit that ship, the better with whatever guns you can bring to bear. Fire!
Okie dokie. This aerial, just keep firing at will from the left, or I'm going to broadside my own ship there. Yeah, the ship's not looking very healthy. Oh, come on, you can take... Ship waver, surely. Surrender, rather. The second right ship of the line can probably try and take out Abraham. You guys need to start engaging those other ships that are coming our way. You need to pivot to help fight Abraham. Fuck, they've got their broadside off. But we're about to get ours off. I'm wavering due to the hull damage, but she's in good shape. Don't try and do that. Try to get your broadside loaded. No, not worth it with you. 23 ships, 23 guns loaded. So let's just get in a position to fire, loaded or not. Bend every sail. She's routing good. Ah, oh, our ship surrendered. So now we're just engaging at, at range all their ships in the middle. No, you stay going. You just keep firing at will against whatever ships that you can. Do you have no. I was going to say. Definitely going to sink. <laughs> you are definitely going to sink. You've notionally got guns above the waterline, but I doubt it. Fire! Damn, I didn't get the broadside I wanted off Costanza. Pivot and... Fire! I think it's a bit late for a general retreat but there's not a lot we can do. Damn, 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 damn. So I do, I just need, I need overwhelming naval superiority to have a chance. Medea's definitely going to die, because look at it. <laughs> I am no sailor, but... God damn. But at least they're colliding with themselves. Anyway, I'm going to chop the recording here to bring you guys back when we've routed. So see you in a second, everyone. There we go, fellas. <laughs> As we just sneak our ship over the line. Ah, oh, damn. Damn, damn, damn. Uh, but at the very least, 
we have still managed to do a good amount of damage to their fleet and it just highlights that you know i do need that naval dominance to stand a chance so their fleet is very damaged they've taken some of our ships sadly but let's get our ships repaired damn it damn 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 so those ships may actually break into the med and cause some trouble but if they do don't really mind but let's take nino boscovich and go and hit Morten Strenius. Um, but, looking at the timer, or I think the timer was, before I cut the recording, I think it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching guys, hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for a bit of payback against the Swedes. Cheers everyone.